What's going on guys and welcome to Bull Gear RC videos. So today I want to take a second look at this uh, Rock Hobby 112 scale 1941 Scaler MB or Willie's Jeep. Now uh, we took this out. This is the one that uh, RC Elf was kind enough to uh, gift to me. And we took this out and uh, kind of took a uh, initial peek at it a couple videos back this thing is uh really really scaled out with all the uh the fine details and uh i've been studying on this guy a little bit just to uh kind of see what we had and i've found some things that are uh, a little bit surprising to me um when we uh first look at this guy you know um, immediately you know it's the scale details and and whatnot that catch our eye but uh digging a little bit deeper into how this vehicle is constructed um i was pretty amazed to uh, find out a few things um i had maybe some misconceptions about this truck and uh I kind of based that on what I've seen from some of the uh, 118th scale FMS trucks. And uh, this is not like them. Uh, let me uh, explain what I'm talking about. As you can see, we have the, uh, the metal drive shafts, front, rear, and center. And uh, to my surprise, because some of the FMS rigs... Uh, have plastic gears uh, this rig has metal gears ring and pinion in the axles with full ball bearings it has metal gears in the transfer case with ball bearings and it also has metal gears in the uh, two-speed transmission and yes uh, two speeds and I assumed based on what I'd seen from some other rigs that this thing might be a little bit underpowered and that is not the case either now you can see right here let's see is this the one there is yeah this is the uh, servo for the uh, the two-speed transmission and uh, if we can see in there I don't know if we can see in there but there's another servo right there that is for the uh, the steering wheel. This is the steering wheel actually turns when we turn the uh, wheels. And then there's again the servo up here in the front. So a total of three servos, all metal links, steering links, you know, all the servo links are metal. So there's a lot more metal in this truck than I, I had uh, originally thought or anticipated that there would be, which is a very nice... Uh, very nice touch in my opinion a little bit higher quality in this model than i had expected now another thing you'll see i have two controllers here two radios this is the one this is for this truck and this is the one for my fms fcx 24 and as you can see they're basically the same radio uh, this one looks like it's got a little bit longer knobs on it but other than that they're they're pretty much identical radios and uh, most of the features are the same so let's go ahead and uh, get this guy turned on and i'll show you the uh light kit in this guy um we've already got the battery installed again this is the same as the uh fms 24 as well it's the 380 milliamp uh two cell lipo and uh, our power switch looks to be the same also as in the FMS FCX 24 I guess it would help if I plug this guy in before I turn him on so let's uh, get her plugged in here Got the wires in the way. Let's tuck those back there. Get them out of the way. All right. So first, let me show you the uh, the light kit. It's got a pretty nice light kit 
installed uh, one click we get headlights turn signals two clicks we get bright headlights turn signals three clicks our uh, little nighttime running light comes on and we get hazard lights fourth click everything goes out but this light and then we start back out from scratch and we have also the uh, the tail lights that come on and I believe there's uh if you run the uh, brake instead of the drag brake when you when you put on the brake the uh, brake lights will come on brighter so very nice light kit uh, very easy to control now let's uh, let me put this windshield down so we can turn this guy up here and uh, we'll go over if we watch here we can see the uh, two-speed transmission shift back and forth and one of the things I was surprised about let's see right now we that looks to be high speed and there's low range one of the things I was really surprised about with this guy is I thought it wouldn't be very powerful but as you can see this thing uh, with a nice slow crawl can climb right up my hand without any issues so it looks like it's gonna be plenty powerful looks like it'll have some decent road speed yeah look at that that's nice nice slow crawl lots of power there um motor is actually a lot bigger than i thought it was i thought it was going to be you know one of the smaller motors but i'm not exactly sure what size it is but i believe it's like a 180 size it's a little bit bigger than a 130 so i think maybe it's a 180 size don't quote me on that because i might be wrong but yeah it's just uh, a lot more metal in this guy than i thought there would be so uh, that was a very nice surprise um the suspension is just a bit stiff and i'm looking into uh maybe uh seeing if we can get just a little bit more flex out of this guy one of the things i noticed that it does look even though it's looking real scale you know nice cushioned uh, cloth seats it uh the body kind of has a plasticky uh, tone to it so we're gonna maybe see about taking care of that and one of the things I was thinking guys is I just don't want to drive this thing without a driver figure because you know it's got a fully open interior so I started looking around for a driver figure and uh, I came up with this guy this is uh, this is the guy from The Walking Dead his name, I forget, it's Abraham Ford, I believe was his name. And, uh, you know, he looks really, you know, really good with this Jeep. And uh, he fits right inside really well. Let's take a peek. All right, guys, so there he is, Mr. Abraham Ford from The Walking Dead. Sits right in there. Don't have to cut anything off, doesn't. He just fits right in there just like he's supposed to. So uh, I think we'll have to do a little bit of work on him because, you know, when the steering wheel turns, we're going to want his uh, arms to move along with that. So that's one of the things uh, that's going to be kind of a new thing for me to figure out how to uh, loosen up his joints and uh, get him to hang on to this. So you know he looks like he's really driving this truck so i'm kind of excited about getting that all figured out and uh working and also with these uh walking dead figures you know we get some little uh scale accessories that come along with it i actually uh got a few different ones here and uh we'll be uh using some of these accessories uh, this one's got a backpack in it. I kind of like that. We got a AR-15, M16 there. But these are 
Walking Dead figures are the perfect size for these. Um, I also have the Kubel Wagon. I think we're going to put the governor in that one, but uh, we'll see what we think when we uh, get to that truck. But uh, anyway, guys, I got uh, some plans on doing a few little modifications to this, and I think we might weather it up a little bit and uh, give it kind of the look that we want it to have. And I'm excited to get this thing out and do some running video with it. I think this is going to be a really cool little truck to play around with. And until next time, guys, oh, Uncle Lee, Bogear RC Video said, I'll see ya.